back in June, we saw Ratchet the announcement of Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart from Insomniac Games, a title which uses the power of PlayStation 5, the SSD hard drive, and the DualSense controller to create an experience that Insomniac says is only possible on brand new hardware. Okay. Well, now it's time for you to decide if you see the difference. Here's an extended, uninterrupted demo of live PlayStation 5 gameplay of Ratchet and Clank Let's go. Rift Apart. Enjoy. Let's go, captured on PS5. There we go. Uninterrupted gameplay. No, no. We're back. Hmm. And not far from where we last saw him. We may still have time to put a stop to this. Oh dear. Yep. Lock and loading. Let's show him how it's done. Okay. Alright. Bringing out the big guns. Ooh. Okay. Loving the flips. There we go. Yes. Last one. Cool, cool. Pulling away. Let's go. Okay. I would a hundred percent stop, looked around, see if there was any more boxes or destructible stuff in the environment to, to break before I went. I get it as a game de demonstration, but Put down the dimensionator, you know what I'm saying? Show us like what it is to really play. Yep, what did you do? What the fuck? Yep. Was that supposed to happen? Hitting the nah. previous device seems to have destabilized reality. The bridge is shot. There has to be another way across. Hmm. The rifts appeared to react to your device. Try pointing it at one of them. Okay. <laughs> that was rather exciting. So that one pulls you towards it. Okay. What does the purple do? Sucks you in? He didn't go in, though. Ice grenades. Level two. Okay. Sun is still frozen. Ha! What the hell are those? Okay. This is worse than I had imagined. Okay, they know who he is. Sand charts from above. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. My heroes. <laughs> I knew you'd come. Might as well. Woo! Whoa. <laughs> yep. Jesus fuck. Okay. 
least we're on the same planet this time. Nefarious is on the other side of that building. Let's get yep. moving before he does anything else to break reality. That is dope. But... I guess I'll get my thoughts on it after, but... He was doing a worse job. He must have more planned than he is telling us. That's what it afraid. still feels like. Let me just say it. It still feels like, yes, you're going through these like interdimensional portals. Yes, there are huge levels on one side, the other side. The system has to render that. It to me feels. Stage. It feels planned. Like there's no. I'm gonna go through this portal and experience something random or new that another player may not. Like I'm gonna jump through this portal and land on a dinosaur planet while somebody else might land on a robot planet and have a totally different gameplay like experience. And I feel like when I first seen the game oh my god it's buffering but I guess this is a perfect time to just talk about it when I first seen the game that's the kind of impressions and thoughts that I got about it about this system and I feel like if it's more stage and more like hey you just popping up at this place that's all of them we have to get to the like, away from nefarious and yeah it looks pretty it looks way more prettier than the the Okay, that was quick. Yes, the SSD it is making all this stuff load faster, but I don't know. I'm not a game developer, but this all feels staged. You know what I'm saying? It feels like it's on rails. And if it's on rails, can't you just do this within like uh, a cutscene? Like, are you gonna jump off the thing the, that that's flying you around? You know what I'm saying? Clank is gone. Are you gonna see Shorty? It's weird. They said this is gonna be. We are too late. Ratchet. More of a gameplay stuff. Uninterrupted gameplay. I feel like we've just seen more of the same of the stuff that we saw at the PS5 reveal event. I don't know. That's just my thoughts. There you have it, Ratchet and Clank okay, ripped apart, more. and now I am joined by Marcus Smith and Mike Daly from Insomniac Games. Uh, guys, it was so great to see that uh, long, uninterrupted demo of uh, Rift Apart, and I have so many questions. Uh, it's amazing to see what you're doing with the power of PS5 and the SSD. Um, let me ask you first, Marcus, what are you able to do with Rift Apart that you haven't been able to do before in a Ratchet game okay, because yeah. of the power of PS5? Explain I mean, to me. First and foremost, it's just pure horsepower enables us to fill our worlds with the kind of density and life that we've never been able to do. Before. Yeah, that's uh, definitely. Um, so is the dimensional shifting that we have going on, which uses the SSD uh, that allows us to fling the player from planet to planet to planet, uh, lightning fast, like in, in way way faster than any we've ever been able to do before. Okay, yeah, the, that the that does color, make we sense. We saw that in the uh, demo. We had seen some of that in the the trailer. So that's my that's thing all is actual is like, gameplay. Mike, I'm curious, like, how does that how does that work as you kind of play through the game? Are there certain moments? What in it you, you can capture the you same like so, so essence if you just did that within a cutscene? Dimensional damage spread throughout the galaxy that Ratchet and Clank have to find a way to fix, and you can find these weak points in space time that you can. Pull to, to you with your rift tether. It's like being able to lasso a portal. That seems that more like a technical. Like across the world, you know what I'm saying? Find new places to discover or gain a tactical advantage in combat. That seems more like well, a thing yeah, that taking like advantage of the hardware. You imagine the, the jumping from multiple worlds uh, at, at at you know at 
instantaneously almost, and it sounds like there's no load screens throughout the entire game. That's right. We're going seamless. That's right. Yep. Wow. All right. Okay, I'm that's so cool. confident both of you said. I like it. Um, <laughs> now, let me ask you about DualSense. That's something that is a big part of PS5. Uh, I've had a chance to handle hands-on with the controller, with the adaptive triggers and the haptics. Um, how are you using that for, to sort of impact the gameplay of Rift Apart? So at the heart of every Ratchet and Clank game is a powerful arsenal of weapons just exuding yeah, a ton the of personality. And the dual sense is sort of like, it feels like it was made for Ratchet and Clank just because the haptics give us a whole new layer for the weapons to express themselves. So for right, example, that's your first pistol, of course it gives you like a satisfying click or kick with every bullet. But when you throw the shatter bomb, you can actually feel the energy pulsing off the grenade fade away as it gets further apart from you. Basically, the okay. haptics are expressive enough that every weapon feels different and you can tell what you're holding. But of course, the exactly. trigger like takes that to a functional level where in addition to the trigger pull feeling unique, we can actually use that as a super intuitive way to add alternate functions to the weapons. So, okay. for example, in the demo, we've got the Enforcer, which is a double-barreled yep. shotgun. You can pull the trigger part of the way down until you hit resistance to fire a single barrel. And then whenever you feel like it's the right time, pull it the rest of the way for a double shot. So you might be swarmed by a bunch of little enemies. You only want to waste the double shot on them. And then wait a minute for even more to swarm in before finishing them off. But a big guy, you probably want to just give both barrels to you right away. Mm -hmm. So there's a nice intuitive way of basically that's raising dope. the that's ceiling. That's dope. I like that idea. You more ways to play better. That's cool. Wow. That's no, cool. I'm that's cool. Okay. Okay. You want to be over a little bit more. Across what I'm sure are an insane, uh, you know, group of weapons as always. Uh, plot wise, Marcus, tell us a bit about this game. I think some fans have wondered, you know, does this tie into the movie plot line, the game plot line? Like, how? Tell us. I don't think nobody the is asking that yeah. question, Jeff. Yeah. Nobody's yeah. asking yeah. about the day, movie. An extension <laughs> of uh, Ratchet and Clank. Um, into the Nexus, the 2013 game. But it's a standalone adventure. So it, it's one that, it, even if you've never played a Ratchet and Clank game, you can get into it and you'll understand it and you'll enjoy it. Um, for hardcore fans, we have a lot of nods. You're gonna, you're gonna see a lot of returning characters and planets and uh, see them yeah. all through a whole new light of uh, multi multiple dimensionality. Yeah. Multiple no, this, this dimensionality. What really the exciting. fuck? And how often, like, <laughs> is that something we saw in the demo? Is that something you're going to see, like, frequently in the game? Are they special moments? Like, I guess I'm curious, like, how often you use that technique for gameplay. Use it all the time, man. This is, I'm so paying the, $500 for a PS5. I want these this game to take advantage of this you'll technology as much as they can. <laughs> a few more types of dimensional damage you'll encounter that we haven't shown yet. Okay. Now, being pulled between worlds. That's, that's localized to chasing after Dr. Nefarious in the demo. Um, and that's sort of reserved for special moments when you really have to, um, when, when the dimensional damage really tears wide open. Well, I got to say, it looks incredible. And then at the end, we got another tease of uh, this yes. female Lombax. Uh, I, I know you guys are confirmed she is playable in parts of the game. Uh, I think everyone wants to know, though, do we have a name for her? Uh, I mean, the world is more interesting with mysteries, and we're going to have ah, to come on! a little longer. <laughs> Do we get a number of letters in her name? <laughs> <laughs> Too many smart people on the internet. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Do you not name the movie, though, right? <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Yo! Yo! Okay! All right! All, all right, Jeff! That was... The power <laughs> I like what he did there. Wow. Wow. I'm, I'm fucking about to tear up thinking about the last of us, man. Fuck. Fucking Abby, man. You can share with us on where you're at in development right now? Mike. He's like... That guy. So Action and Clank is coming out in the PS5 launch window. What? So what? A specific release date yet, so stay tuned for that. What launch window? Yeah, yeah, exactly. No, I'm just kidding. All right. That's all <laughs> <laughs> so it is launch. For PlayStation 5, I got to say. Launch Insomnia. window. Uh, That's so crazy. That means Spider-Man in and, uh, Ratchet. So thank you so much for all you've done, and we look forward to seeing more of uh, Rift Apart soon. That's Thanks, insane! Uh,
going. Let's go. For showing us that first look. At so is that PlayStation at launch? PlayStation. But his launch that's window. That's crazy. Night Live. Thank you so much for watching from around the world, and make sure to stay tuned all weekend. That is insane. Oh no, my god. As for us, we'll see you later this year for the Game Awards 2020. Yo. Our team is hard at work to build a very special live show for you coming in December. We'll see you then. Good night. Yo, my God. My God. How is that? How is that launch window? How is Spider Man? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Thank you, thank you, thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you're not a subscriber and you made it this far, hit that subscribe button. You know you want to. Join the family, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time I drop one of my videos, as well as hit the like button on this video so it can be recommended so more people can check it out so we can have more people join in the family. If you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms such as Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok, or whatever, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on all all of those again daddy gamer fred you'll be able to find all those links in the description of this video and the pin tweet comment on my twitter also on all of my videos i do answer all comments so again if you just want to chat it up about the video or anything just hit me up in the comment section below i take time out of my day and literally answer to all the comments that you guys leave me and i love it and again let's have that conversation down there here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest i am a variety channel i do tons of stuff tons of pokemon but tons of other stuff as well so dive into these videos peace i love you guys i'm gonna see you guys on the next one